I started out as a teacher and uh, at um, a couple of local colleges at University of Michigan and doing the kind of work I did in technology and policy, one of the things I really started to understand is that most people have never taken a computer apart. Shocked me. Uh, but one of the things I realized the first time I took a class of 30 people and took, well, when I say took, I mean I sort of stole from the IT lab a Dell laptop, um, took it apart and started asking people, what are the pieces inside this machine? What's this look like to you? Someone says, that looks like a hard drive. And I said, great. We kept going through GPU, through processor. They started understanding what was happening inside this machine that they had really only pushed a button on before and prayed that it turned on, right? One of the things I think is the biggest challenge for artificial intelligence is it is very rare for people to take the cover off of it, for those of us that are implementing it, and explain what it means to people outside the world of technology, outside artificial intelligence. When I think about AI, I think about forged steel bars. They are neither swords nor plowshares yet. We haven't decided what they're going to be. Artificial intelligence can be a lot of things, but mostly it's a set of tools that lets us automate good or bad decisions at scale, right? Uh, the kinds of algorithms we work with in artificial intelligence, the kind of code that I've written, the kind of code that you're working with that some of you in this room have helped to write as well, is just a set of tools. And when implemented badly, it makes those decisions magnify at a scale that has been previously incomprehensible. Taking the hood off and understanding what's inside an algorithm, inside artificial intelligence, helps people to understand you're not talking about techno magic. We, we're, not, we're not techno warlocks. We're not people that are creating something that's not understandable. This is just a crank that moves really fast to fix things or to make them way worse in the case of major data breaches, in the case of automated uh, botnets that can be used to attack systems in or outside this country. So when I see trends in cybersecurity and artificial intelligence, the one I like is that people are starting to pay attention to it. The one I don't like is that people are starting to mistake it for magic. Let's take the hood off. Let's find a way to translate it easily for people so they understand that it's ju just a set of virtual gears that make our jobs either easier or harder at scale.